So let's go. So last time we saw how to run the standard reports, how to copy them, and how what are, what does it mean to see the sort filter columns and all prompt and all those things enable save parameters. Now we'll see the real part, like how to create custom report from beginning. So let's begin. So we'll type create custom report here. Okay. The task is create custom report. So we'll see different type of reports. We'll see advanced also, we'll see metrics also, then we'll see composite also. Let's spend some time on the advanced report first. So we'll say <clears throat> Blinkit new advanced customer. Or customer invoice. You have different types here, like advanced, composite, metrics, and box, search, simple, transposed, trending here. The majority of the ones that is used or been used by the companies are this one advanced, composite, metrics. Our focus would be on this three only because they hold 99.98% of value in all the implementations and post go live also. You'll find all the report types as advanced, composite, and metrics only. So we'll begin our journey with advanced. Enable as web service, what does it mean? <coughs> so if you want to import this report data into some Workday Studio tool, okay, that time you would use this web service. Not before that. Basically, whenever you want to say, like, I want to design a layout in Studio Tool and all those things, then only you will do this. Otherwise, you will not do it. Data source. So, this is the point here from which we'll create our report. So, if you just break the word or just read the word carefully, it just says data source, the source of the data. So, we are trying to create a report on the customer invoice. So, we'll just pick customer invoice document here. Let's put customer invoice. Okay, so we do have customer invoice line, customer maintenance, customer invoices. Okay, now we see very limited options here. Once I uncheck this, now if I type customer invoice document. Customer invoice. There are many more now compared to the previous searches now. So let's see, customer payment. We'll just go with the customer invoice then. Then we'll hit OK. Now, the first tab here is columns, like the reporting column. So just like in Excel, we have columns where we see the values, the heading and the values, same here. So this would be the heading and this would be the name of the value. So first, what do you need from a customer invoice? Let's say we need uh, what a company name for which company this customer invoice is for. So we'll say company. Then what we need after that? Then we would like to see like what is the customer name for that invoice? Oops. Customer. Then what we would like to see, we would like to see the invoice date. Okay, I'm just taking random values here, but it all depends what the client needs. Then what else we need? We need invoice amount. There are different options here, like net invoice amount, total invoice amount with sign also. Total invoice amount excluding with holding, total invoice amount with sign. So you can put sign also, negative, positive, whatever it is. Then we need net invoice amount. Because total invoice amount may have the tax amount in it. So we need net invoice amount also. Then what are the other parameters? Then we need due date.
then before this we can see payment status of this invoice payment status for document payment status then what else we need we need the invoice number the key thing So we got the invoice number, company, customer, invoice date, or invoice amount with sign, that invoice amount, due date, and all these things. Perfect. So looks good to begin with. And then we see we'll see this sort filter again. Share, as I repeatedly said last time also, don't share report definition. It means that apart from me, the creator, the initiator of this report, no one should be able to access this report. Share with all authorized users, whosoever has the right. On this data source, if you click on this three dot, okay, it will tell you which security groups have the access to this data source. So apart from this, no one should be able to access this data source. Then share with specific authorized groups and users. Okay, what does it mean that even though they have like twenty five people out of this twenty five people, I want to mention only five people who can access this report, like that. Typically, we do this share with all authorized users. Advance, enable first. We'll see a demo of this also. Let me add multiple values, then we'll see the demo of this in the freeze first column here. Enable save parameter, which always save us whenever we want to run the report multiple times. The surprism and worksheet are different tools, so we don't need to worry about that. Temporary report once checked, it will be there for one week in the system. And we'll hit OK now. Now we'll run this report. So we have a company here, let's say Blinkit. Blinkit Grossing. No need to put filter name here because we just have one prompt here. So we can easily run this report. Yeah, and see, if you see there's a separate line here, which means it has freeze the first column here. So let me add few more where columns here, and then you would see that this would be freeze. What we can do, we can put the invoice number in the, on this first column. We can drag this, like, I'm not sure if we can drag it from here. But if it had more number of customers, would it include all the customers or only just Reliance? No, no, it will show all the customers. Let's take some other company because typically we had only Reliance hotels. Let's take GMS USA. See, it has everything. Okay, okay. And then we can see the document payment status, the invoice date, code invoice amount you sign, and invoice amount due date, and all. Okay. Now we can we can do sort here also. If you see, just click on this number. Suppose you want to sort by the invoice number, ascending, descending. Just click here and say sort ascending. Okay, so it will ascend only. If you want to say descending, then you can say descending here also. Same thing inside the report also you can do like so it alphabetically invoice numbers and customer details and all those things. Now let me just add a few more columns and then we'll see the functionality of this freeze first column. And typically, like rest you can do practice. To add more and more again this is like something which client will tell you in which order they want to see values what values they want to see nothing has to be done from your end but you should know how to add values fields and all those things now let me add uh, some more values here you can see accounting gate Then adjustment number, adjustment was adjustment. We can put anything we want. Now, if you run this report,
Okay. So still we need some more congestion space here, but it will be easy. Like you can see now there's separate drag column here and there's separate drag fields here. So the more you will add, the more it will drag on the right hand side. And you can just scroll down, scroll down to our right hand side. So that's pretty much about advanced reports. Now we'll spend some time on the metrics report. So we'll say create custom report. Report name. And we'll say blanket for metrics. We'll select type as metrics. And for this, we we'll use general lines for financial reporting. So this is a primary uh, data source, guys. Uh, whenever uh, Venkat has already joined the company, accepted the offer, when you start, you will see the moment you get tenant X and all those things. The majority of the report of the composite report, financial reports, would have this data source. Majority of it, I can bet on it. Like probably like ninety six to ninety seven percent reports of financial reports will all have this data source called general lines for financial report. We'll hit OK now. So we'll see the difference, like how it looks in metrics and how it looks in advance. We'll spend more time on the composite. So if you see here, the UI is a little different what we had in the advanced report. We didn't have this column grouping optional, and then we didn't have the defined a field to summarize. It's more metrics reports are more about calculations, mathematical calculations. Okay, where you have limited number of scope. Like here, we can add it's only eight columns. You can call them eight columns only. Just tells you here also eight columns only row grouping. Okay, there we could have fifty columns also, no restrictions. But here we just have eight columns in metrics report. That's why we put only key fields here, which we need. Now, what are the key fields and how to put the details here? Okay, let me show you. The first thing we can do is we can put leather account here. Then, if you want to see further details by the company and the cost center. And remember, everything should be in the same format, alphabetical ascending, either descending or ascending, but has to be same for all. Okay. Now, here, we'll add four columns here. In one column, we'll see the beginning balance. In one column, we'll see the debit, credit, and the ending balance activity. For that, so we have different summation types here count, calculation, percentile, sum, okay. We'll take sum. We'll take sum. The moment you put sum here, sum means the total of the field that we want to see the balance of. So first we want to see the balance of ledger debit minus credit. So there's, if you type like this, suppose I want to see beginning balance. People do get confused like, Will I see beginning balance if I just type beginning here? No. Beginning is the ledger debit minus credit activity. And then we'll see a field, a prompt there when we run this report that will give us the option that what do you want to see, like beginning balance, activity, or the ending balance. So here we'll say ledger debit minus credit. Okay. Ledger debit minus credit. That would, you would label it as beginning balance now what would be the format the general format which we typically use in all the implementations is this one 0, 0.00 this one and the same format we use in all the formats here we'll say again uh, debit balance debit amount only leather budget debit amount so this would be our debit amount and again, format would be, <coughs> sorry, my throat is not good. Uh, credit, ledger budget, we should have credit amount here. Credit amount.
then same another rapid minus credit and this we would mark as the imbalance. We'll use the same format. We do have some options here, valid options. Percent of column total, percent of overall total, show currency symbol if you want to see the currency symbol. You can also do that. Show currency symbol. Show currency symbol. Show currency symbol. Okay. Now you see we don't have that many tabs compared to the advanced one, but we do have the share tab here. And it always has to be shared because in the composite report, composite report, you will see they don't have any data sources. They only pull data from the metrics report. So whatever we are building now, that we would use in our composite report. Advanced, enable save parameters here, and then we'll go to prompts. So I'll show you an interesting part here. So right now, it show you zero prompt, okay? That it has zero prompt. But once we run this report, I'll just show you what happens. And then how to bring those hidden prompts here. If you see, see, so many prompts, but there it was saying zero prompt. How to fix it? It canceled. And they were unordered also, no, no, right? They were not in order. So we'll just go here. And uh, uh, pretty link it first. Now that gives me an opportunity to bring you one more thing that suppose it doesn't show your report that RPT views and still it's not coming. What to do? You have a task called added custom. Go to this one and say blink it. We'll just type the keyword here, blink it. Okay. And you'll find your report here. Don't be hopeless like if you don't find your report, like by searching many keywords also. Go to this added custom report sometime, it doesn't come here. Now we'll go to prompt and we'll see the hidden part here. Okay, so if you click on this checkbox here, populate undefined prompt defaults. Now you will see 20 plus values. Okay, let's give it a minute. See, 21 prompts here. And we don't need all of them. Now, if you see here, few are marked by workday itself that they are required. We cannot uncheck them. You cannot say, okay, I want to uncheck this. We'll get the error. No, you have to mark it as required. Okay, give me one second. I'm getting a call here. Now, if you see the other work tags here, like balancing work tags, we don't need them. So we'll go to this second column here. Do not prompt at runtime. And we'll click on this checkbox. Means they will not fear when we run the report. Work tags will not need them. Plan structure, we don't need them. Report effective date, we don't need them. There are many unnecessary values here, prompts here, which you don't need. So we'll just get rid of them. And typically, yes, that's what we do all the time. If you want to keep the book, that's fine. Plan name. Okay, now you see, if I hit okay now, how this prompt will look like. Let's run this info. See how beautiful it looks like. Now let me put the values here. So we'll say BGC, amount type. So this is the one. You want to see the activity, activities like debit minus credit. That is called your activity. 
you just want to see the beginning balance ending balance so that's how we'll get those balances here so let's say activity i want to see ledgers actuals i want to see jan period okay i want to see jan 2023 where is that where are we uh what is that why it's not coming never mind let's say this one time period like what is the range of the time between that you want to see data so i want to see the current period data means the period which i've selected the current period current period year to date means till that period the entire financial year suppose i put december here then if i select this option means starting from january till december show me the entire financial year data like you can see current year also last 12 periods also last 36 periods over period means months so last 12 month data last 36 month data and also from this date okay so that is very simple if i put december here and i say last 12 periods it will start from showing from january itself january fab march whatever the activity was there it will show you that if i just say current period means whatever happened whatever transactions happened in jan month only those transactions also. so we'll say bgc and let save. Right, okay. So it doesn't have that much data. So we'll say GMC USA. And we get name GMC USA. Save. Okay, this has some data here. So see how this looks like beautiful. Whatever the cost center was involved in that transaction. Okay. We do have same as account because in the same as account, different cost centers were used for this one. This was used, and these are the activity. balance. We had said activity, right? But it is showing me beginning debit, right? So huh, activity would uh, how the activity would come? There would be beginning balance, then there would be debit transaction, credit transaction. Oh, so that's why it's showing everything. everything. Okay, yes. Okay. okay. So there we have 70,000, 70,000 here. Credit was nothing, and the ending balance became 17,000. 6,800. There was no debit transaction, 1,800. And these are the balances forming up okay so this is how you run it now remember the composite report does not have their own data source so we need to bring this matrix report only as a base of that composite but now you'll see in a minute uh, what do i mean by that so let me just go back and let me now go to this and remember you have to share your matrix report otherwise it will not come Okay, so we'll say create custom report. And we'll say, okay, we'll say blanket first composite report. Like composition. See, the moment you select composite, data source is gone now. What is in the picture? The business object. And that has to be the key value. What is there in your matrix report? So, ledger account is a key value. Based on ledger account, we can drill and down further things and bring more values. So, we'll just say ledger account here. We can add one more, say, company. I'll show you the uses of that later on. Okay. Will it okay now? And see, you will just see an Excel sheet in a minute. See, just like plain Excel sheet, but we have nothing here. So these are columns, these are rows, just like what you see in an Excel sheet, typical Excel sheet. Okay, but now how to bring data? Okay, so first column, if you just click on that and you hit drill down on this small arrow button here, you have defined different column types here. So these are different column types. So control field means who would be controlling the entire data of this report? What would be the key value? So that will be our 
ledger account. So we'll say ledger account here. And by default, because we had given the ledger account as business object, as you can see, we do have option <clears throat> to select company also, but the typical, typical 99% would always be a ledger account there. We'll talk about this options and all those things later on. First, you need to learn the basics here. And then once you are comfortable in experience, you know, then try different options. Okay, now we have the ledger account. What next? Now I want to see the beginning balance or the company, right? I want to see the company here. So if I just say define again, one more control field here, I'll say company. And you will see by default, we'll pick the company because that's the only value remaining here. So company. Then the next one would be, again, I want to see the beginning balance, debit balance, because we want to see, we want to play around with this sheet. See, composite practice can take you months also. It's not like you will learn everything in just one day or one month. It's about your interest and passion about reporting. See, every module have its own passion and interest about a person. So the more interest you will show, the more you will learn. I've seen people just doing practice for 10 days and after that they are blank. So it all depends on your practice. So we'll use a different column here, data, data column here. We want to bring data. Here we'll say beginning balance. And now remember the sub report. So only matrix reports will come here. If I want advanced here, link it advanced report that will not appear only what is a metric support that will come here like this blink it first metric support the moment you do it will show you the prompts also which we had defined at the metric support no need to define the value here we'll go ahead as it is and we'll say and fill to aggregate remember we added four columns at the bottom of that report beginning balance summarizing field credit amount, debit amount, ending balance, same will use here also. <clears throat> now, again, if I have to add three more columns, again, I'll say data and all those things. What if I can duplicate this? Okay, you will see the benefit of it. Like I'll duplicate this. So it will duplicate everything here. We just need to change few values. It will save a lot of time. So it's a duplicate. Duplicate. The first one is beginning balance. Second column we want is debit amount. So we'll click and add it here. Ah, not here, buddy. It's a little slow. Add it. And here we'll say debit amount. And here we'll keep the as it is and see how simple it is otherwise we would have to type like create new column then give the report name then this values will come and then will come down and all of this thing duplicate saves a lot of time so we'll say debit amount here okay and we'll hit okay then this would be a credit uh, why on earth you do this? Okay, so we'll say added custom report because we have this thing with us. We know how to find our report. And we'll say blink it. 
And as we always say, make the first composite report. Okay. So we'll see add credit amount here. Okay, let's look credit. The last would be ending balance. Let's mark it as ending balance. Okay. You must be wondering where are those like filter columns and all those things, you know, prompts and everything. Where do we see it now? So for that, here is our secret button here, settings. This gear kind of icon. We call it settings, and here we'll see that magic thing here. Where is it? It's right here, the setting icon, this one. Oh, okay. Let me show you again. So here you need to click on that. Yeah. Let it come. It's taking some time. It's okay. Yeah. Now see, header, photo, column, adding prompts to or share at once. Remember, this has to be shared with all of us users. Advanced will enable save parameters here. And prompts just to make sure that yes, we are at the safer side. Hit on this prompt, public undefined prompt default here. And it has only six values, which is good. Now let's run this report. And let's see how it looks like. Then we'll play around with this report. Like we can play around for hours also. But for now, let's do this. We'll say GMS USA. Mount type. Let's say activity here. Ledger would be. Actuals period was let's say gen time period is current period and we'll name it GMS USA. Same US for that. Let's run this report. Okay, so we got only five items here. Nothing to worry, but we still send some data here. You see, and let's account company beginning balance, debit amount, credit amount, ending balance. Perfect. Now let's play around with this report. So we can click on this name again. We don't see total column here. It's not showing it totally here. So we'll bring the total also by doing something at the row level. We'll color code some columns also. Okay. Suppose you always want to see ending balance, a happy balance in green color. What you want to do? Ending balance is in green color, but it does, doesn't apply to all other accounts. Just in case, like you want to play around. 
So we'll say add it. You have to go to this. You have two secret options here. Like what is one is style? How do you want to style, style the, the column here? So you have workday styles and custom styles. So let's go to custom styles here. You can create your own formatting style also, like bold, blue font, blue fill gray, all those things, double underline, you know, border, bold, just like your Excel things, border left, bottom, border, bold text. Okay, currency default, decimal two places. You can put the decimals also, like millions, subtotal bold, thousands. A lot of things are here. Whole number, no grid lines, whole number, triple in indent, and all those things. So let's say bold. If I want to just bold out the numbers, I'll just say bold. Okay, so we'll say bold text or bold. Uh, that would be fine. Bold fill gray. Let's put something else. Options. This is an interesting one. Let's see all here. Hide column now. Create. Now you see this option. Create analytical indicator for report. I'll see, show you the best usage of this functionality. What it does. Let me show you. Visualization type. So I want to see a flag. I want to see a flag. Okay. I'll put the condition also why I will see the flag. Red flag. Okay. Now let me put the condition. Under which circumstance it has to show me a red flag in the ending balance. And default visualization is no visualization, but we can change it. We can have a blue flag, green flag, red flag, purple flag. We'll say red flag. I want to see a red flag. Default help text. Please reach out to uh, Teresa if there is a red flag. Okay. Column reference. We would say ending balance on which it should work. Condition, ledger amount is less than, let's say it's less than uh, 25,000. It's less than 25,000, show me a red flag. Again, as I said, you can play around with this as much as you want. It's a never ending thing. Help text, same thing we'll put here also. We'll see. Control V. And we'll hit OK. Now we want to see a total balance also. So let's do that too. And people who, you know, love data and they want to play around like star ratings and all those things you can do it now we'll just bring row one a combined total of so we'll just say dynamic data combined data combine the data of what ledger account okay totally Rows are generated by using the controlling field present in the subgroup. By which value? I want to say let's see. Say so both okay. Okay, we'll go with the same approach here. Give USA. It saves a lot of time. No need to put the values again and again. That's it. Okay. I think there should be a value which is below 25,000 for sure. Yeah, everything is in red here. You see? And the moment you bring your cursor here, it will show the help text also. 
please reach out to Teresa if there's a red flag. See how beautiful it looks like. It's got gray color here. Correct? So that's how you can play around. And let me see why this ending balance is not showing. Loving this functionality? I do love it. Let me prepare reports. Da, da, da. Okay. Scan total. Ba, ba. <laughs> hmm. Well, it has done a grand total formatting on this. No, no, that we don't know, buddy. Wait. Ah, come on, why is this so slow? Let's wait for it, guys. Oh, come on. Alt. And it
finally it is coming. So we are getting here because it's getting zero. So it's becoming zero here. Then debit amount balance is this. If you add up this amount, this will become this. If we can mark it gold also. So now this is how you do it, but there is more to it. We can play around more here. What if you want to add uh, like a header and footer description also in this report? Let's see that part too. So you have this column heading, but you have header and footer here. So we'll just say header line and footer lines. Text expression, this is what we want to show. So we'll say, please do not make any changes to this report. Hmm. Footer, we can add. If numbers doesn't match, please contact the account set. If the numbers are not matching, contact finance set. Okay, let's see. And let's see if it shows us or not. It will not show you here, but when you run the report. So here you can see, please do not make any changes to this report. If the numbers are not matching, contact me. That's it. So just, just like this, guys, you know, practice, use the documents I have provided you on the reporting. You can play around with this hours and months also if you want to. Okay. And it's better only. The more you practice, the more you will learn.